Hi folks, how you doing today? Um, I just want to share a little info I uh, just recently found out, actually from doing a little digging. Um, you see the afterburner, uh, well this is the new afterburner skin for the MSI Afterburner 4.0 series, actually 4.1. Um, and afterburner is kind of a nice alternative to fraps if doing desktop capture. I know a lot of us don't have the money to buy professional capture software that, so we rely on things like afterburner, fraps, which are really meant for game captures, but because of that, they're really looking for a direct X hook, which means usually they don't capture desktops very well, uh, especially Aero desktops like Windows 7, that kind of thing. Um, and I, Afterburner, I actually kind of prefer, even though I own a copy of Fraps, I kind of prefer Afterburner because you can make smaller files. Uh, you know, if you look in here, you can actually go into the settings and, you know, when you do video capture, you can set your buttons and you can set, you know, full frame, half frame, whatever you want to do. You can really, you know, have more control over the size of the files, even to some degree, uh, what kind of files, you know, uh, you can like here I've got AVI or their MKV. I've never had luck with the MKV, but in any case, it's just a little more configuration than even the paid version of Fraps give you. But there's been an ongoing issue here that uh, later versions of MSI Afterburner don't seem to be able to capture the desktop. And if you look at the 3X versions, you know, even from like a year ago, there's like, you know, lots of tutorials on, on YouTube and that to make them work uh, to capture desktop. You know, there's configuration files and all kinds of stuff you can go in. Although newer versions don't have these files, they've kind of changed the folder structure. Uh, well, it's actually a lot simpler than you think. And here's the deal, Nick. I'm actually going to start a, a capture right now. Uh, I'm going to hit my capture key. And you can see it's turned off arrow. And I'm capturing video right now. And I can go ahead and I can check to make sure. And I'll go to my video capture and I'll just view the folder. And you can see I've got a full, I've got a file being captured right now of what I'm doing here. And that's fine. But I'm going to show you something that's actually kind of interesting and maybe a little sinister. So here's an interesting part. Notice in the app here, uh, we've got all these settings and the video capture and all that good stuff. But if MSI Afterburner finds another app running that it thinks is a 3D capture app, it won't record anything. Um, and some keen-eyed viewers may notice that I have what looks like a fraps counter, FPS counter down here, and I do. This is kind of strange. I'm actually recording MSI Afterburner with fraps, but okay. It's kind of the uh, Russian nested dolls thing, I think. But anyway, here's the deal. If you try to capture an Afterburner and it's not doing it, you see this little button up here, and even the older versions have this little I button info? Click it. And if you scroll down, it will tell you if there's a video capture module running, and apparently it's not detecting fraps. Um, but if it says anything in here that's an active 3D process, it will refuse to capture. Here's the interesting thing. I was having this issue on multiple machines, yet I had one machine that worked perfectly with the video capture in MSI Afterburner. Now, watch this. I use Dropbox and I use Microsoft OneDrive all the time. I'm going to go ahead and start up Dropbox. All right. I'm going to start Dropbox. And we all know what Dropbox is. I'll also, uh, well, no, we'll just start Dropbox. Now, we'll wait for a minute. And while that's getting set up and loaded and doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and open my capture folder. Okay, here's the capture folder, and I've already got a couple in here that I've made. What you should see when Afterburner is capturing is it should create a new file, just like these two files are brand new as I was making this video. All right. Now, let's go back to the Afterburner screen. Remember, this thing will tell you a 3D app that's capturing, that thinks it's capturing video. I'm going to scroll down. Look at this. It thinks that Dropbox 
is a video capture app. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and I have my hotkey set here for video capture. I set it to numlock minus. All right. Now watch this folder because there's really no way I can show you otherwise. I'm going to hit the numlock minus key. And what do you see here? Nothing. Nothing's happening. However, if I hit it again, see, nothing. Now, if I go close Dropbox, which this would be interesting if it works. This will be like a nest within a nest. I'm going to go ahead and if I can find Dropbox, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Hey, I didn't say I was the perfect uh, host. Anyway, go ahead and exit Dropbox. And then we'll check our little screen here. And you see, it doesn't see an active 3D process anymore. Now, isn't that interesting? So, lesson learned is that Dropbox is a 3D capture app, which is kind of weird to me. Anyway, that's about it. Hope this was helpful. Make sure you check your little eye icon here in Afterburner. That's it for now. I'm out.